welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a, a wonderful, amazing day and you're all doing well. I intended to record earlier today when I was in bed doing my whole waking up routine and doing my little intro there, but I turned on my camera and then realized my battery was literally flat. So if there's one thing you guys need to know about me, I am extremely, extremely forgetful. And my husband and I were at a book fair this past weekend. And so I was filming and taking some pictures and stuff and I just completely forgot to charge my battery. So here we are, it's a few hours after and I'm obviously all dressed and ready for the day, but it's fine. We are starting now and uh, we have some more juice in the battery, so that is always good. I am very excited for today's video. It is a very, very fun video indeed. I am finally gonna be jumping into a book that I picked up a few days ago that I've been so eager to read, but I've been wanting to save it for this video so you guys can join me and come along the adventure and journey with me. I am going to be doing a little bit of a reading vlog and we are going to be starting my first book from author Lisa Jewell and I've been hearing so much about this book. I've been seeing it a lot on Facebook, I've been seeing it a lot on TikTok and just floating about everywhere and oh I remember I was gonna buy it like a week ago but it wasn't in stock at Barnes and Noble and they had one in stock at my local Target and so I ran to my husband and I was like can we please we please go to Target like after you finish work can we go to Target please there's one copy of this book left and I really want to read it so I decided to order it online and then as we left, it was maybe a few minutes after we left home to go to Target to pick it up, they emailed me saying that they had canceled the order because it was no longer in stock and that was the last copy. So I'm like, oh no, I must have missed it by maybe a couple of hours. Um, so that was unfortunate. So I didn't get to get it. I ended up buying something else to kind of make up for it, but I was a little bit sad because I was very excited for it until a couple of days after that and I realized that Barnes & Noble had it in stock. So this book is None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. Um, I don't know if you guys have read this. Let me know if you have. Let me know what you think. No spoilers, of course, please. But I finally have my hands on this book. As I said, it's my first book from this author that I will be reading and I've been hearing so much about this book. So I'm really, really excited to jump into it. It sounds like a thriller, more of a mystery, but like a thriller slash mystery about a podcaster um, lady who meets another lady who's like oddly twinning with her. She's like, has the same birthday and is similar in many ways. And then um, she starts like finding out some sinister things about her and then she disappears. And then she kind of leaves a lot of this kind of drama and like bad stuff behind before she goes. That's kind of what it sounds like. Obviously I haven't read it yet, but it sounds right up my alley. I love a good mystery. I love, I've got hair in my mouth. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay, I got it, it was still attached. Sounds really good. Um, love a good mystery. I just finished reading The Maidens and that was fantastic. And I'm definitely excited to jump into another mystery. I love being able to figure them out as I read the book, as I go along. You know, guessing like, oh, who's who? What's going on here? Like, I think it's this or I think it's that. And that's so much fun for me. I love being scared too, but yeah, mysteries, mysteries for me really do it. They really hit that spot. I am very much looking forward to jumping into this. So we are going to read it together. I'm going to be vlogging as I go along. And if I have any thoughts or any spots that I want to stop and just talk about, then, um, then we will do that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, let's, let's jump right in.
Okay, so I am about 90, 91 pages into the book so far and I am very intrigued. I'm beginning to feel that sinister vibe and I'm feeling the eeriness like something terrible is brewing and something very, very bad is going to happen and it's creepy and like I feel on edge but I'm still unsure as to why and as to what is going to happen and what is happening. I really love the way that this is written. I also really, really enjoy the uh, paragraphs that you have of the kind of pretend Netflix adaptation, like the Netflix original movie thing. I think that is so cool, especially for immersion and like picturing this uh, happening in your head. That is very, very cool. So I like that. That's like the first time I've ever seen that sort of thing in a book. So I'm definitely enjoying it. But yeah, this is very interesting. Obviously we have the two women that are like living completely different kinds of lives, but they are also very similar as like personally very similar in regards to, you know, they were being born on the same day, born in the same hospital. So it's like their lives started the exact same, but have gone two completely opposite routes. It's been really interesting to see their relationships kind of building. And then obviously we have Josie's two kids and I don't know what's going on with that. Obviously there was some issues with social services and stuff going on. I want this to be as spoiler free as possible so I'm just like lightly going into things. Yeah so obviously there were some issues with social services and there's a situation with her husband you know and she was obviously very very young so that is not good. Uh, very concerning. But then there's this thing with the bedroom, how she like is smelling the bedroom and I'm just like, oh my god, like what is behind that door? Like is she okay? Is she alive? I mean she's hearing like the tapping and stuff like that, right? But it's very creepy. What is behind that door and where is the other daughter? Obviously there was issues between them and fights and stuff like that, but what is going on behind that door and why is she hesitant to go in there? So I'm, I'm creeped out. I'm creeped out with that situation. That's probably the situation that kind of makes me feel uneasy the most because I'm, I'm just thinking like, is she still alive? Is she just dead there like rotting away? I don't even know. That's like where my mind goes, but I've obviously read a lot of books. I've read a lot of thriller books and horror books. Um, so maybe that's why my mind just immediately goes there, but it does seem weird. It's obviously weird. So we will see what the situation with that is. Her mother being um, bizarre, like the way she behaves, acting like she's one person, but apparently being another is what Josie's telling us, is that the truth? Is she like kind of expanding on the truth a little bit? Is this lies? And then obviously she's taking some of those items from the house and hiding them and that's just disturbing and bizarre behavior. So it's all very weird. I'm not sure where it's going, but I'm certainly invested. And we're slowly seeing this story unfold and learning more about Josie, also learning more about Alex and Alex's life, how it seems so perfect on the outside but really isn't. And yeah, it's just left me feeling very curious as to what's gonna happen. So I don't know, I guess we'll have to keep reading, but I am enjoying it so far. Very curious and excited to see where it goes, so yeah. We'll see. I'm actually gonna grab some food first. My husband and I are gonna have dinner, so we're gonna have something to eat and then I am going to continue the book.
I'm taking a short little break and I wanted to update you guys a little bit on what I'm thinking so far. So I am on page do, 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 171. I think this is the most amount of pages I've ever read in one single day before. I usually read maybe a hundred pages a day on a good day. So I feel like I'm storming through this. I took the cover off by the way because the cover always gets a little bit annoying sliding about all over the place when I'm reading it. Anyway, I, oh, I have so many thoughts, okay? So many thoughts. But my most prominent thought is what the hell? is going on and I don't mean that in a way that the story is confusing or like I don't actually understand what's happening I understand what's going on and I understand what's happening but I have so many questions and I genuinely have no idea what is going to happen or where this is going where this is heading i mean and that's unlike me because normally when i read a thriller book or i read especially mystery novel i feel like this is more mystery personally it's very psychological so maybe psychological thriller but i don't know i feel like it's, it's more mystery yeah normally when i read a mystery novel i can normally pick apart little things and i'm like guessing what's gonna happen i'm having ideas i'm having thoughts i'm like brainstorming oh i i can see this going here i can see it going there this one genuinely i cannot do that i cannot do that I really like how the author is just very slowly peeling away the layers to Josie and her character and I find her fascinating in like the most disturbing way possible. I'm very intrigued by Walter, I don't know if he's good or if he's bad because we just had the dinner situation with Alex and obviously Josie is very, very obsessed with Alex. I think that she's in love with her and she obviously wants to be her, be like her, right? She wants to live this life that she um, she sees Alex living. Although as we, as I spoke about earlier in the video, we know that Alex's life isn't as picture perfect as it seems to be. However, Josie dreams of having this life where she's free and you know, there's no men around and stuff like that. So she's obviously like obsessed. She's in love with Alex. She has these objects and the whole like kissing and stuff like that, like kissing the spoon and stuff. It was very bizarre, but okay. She's just, she has this infatuation with Alex and anything that's like attached to Alex, it reminds her of this dream that she has, right? Or oh, that's what I'm gathering anyway. So I don't, I've lost my train of thought now because I've gone down. Do you ever have that when you start talking about something? But then like something throughout that sentence triggers something else and then you just go down another path and then you forget what you were originally talking about. That literally just happened to me. I can't now remember what I was originally gonna talk about. I just had the dinner scene and then Josie like hates Nathan because she assumes that Nathan's terrible and like, oh, you know, you poor girl and Nathan's so bad for you and stuff like that. And kind of, it feels like she's trying to manipulate Alex and then Walter was obviously saying the things that he said in the recording studio about Josie and so it does make you question who is the bad guy here are they both bad guys I don't think Walter is a good person actually no I don't think he is a good person because of the past given that Josie was very young obviously that's totally wrong bad 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 however if we're just evaluating the situation as it is now in the present and just for the moment forgetting about that past um, aspect of it I don't know like if Walter is telling lies if Walter is the one that is like manipulative or if it's Josie or if it's both of them I I really don't know I don't understand their relationship I think that they both have issues I think that Josie has a lot of mental struggles that I think she needs to work through we still don't have a lot of clarification in regards to the two girls I'm still very concerned in regards to Erin 
and what that situation is. Like, what's behind that door? Okay, I don't know. I still really don't know about Roxy either. There was a whole situation where she thought that she saw Roxy in the coffee shop, but then she didn't, but like, maybe she did? Maybe Roxy is out and about, like keeping her eyes peeled on a situation. And Roxy's gonna be like, bam! She's gonna turn up on Alex's doorstep or something and be like, I got some things to tell you about my mother. I really don't know where it's going. Um, like I said, I normally can figure, kind of figure these things out. I wouldn't consider myself smart, but I consider myself very invested. And when I'm invested in something, I am full FBI. Okay, full FBI, full detective mode is on, and I am figuring this out before the end of the book. But this, I can't, I can't. I don't know where it's coming. I don't know what the dealio is. I don't know what's gonna happen with Alex and Nathan. I don't know what's gonna happen with the two girls. I don't know who to trust. I don't know who to like. I feel like I like Alex. I feel like I do like Nathan. I think he's thoughtless, but I don't think he's a bad guy. I don't think he's cheating or anything. I think, like I said, I think he's just thoughtless and I think he just, he's a bit selfish maybe, but I don't think he's a bad guy. I'm worried what Josie's gonna do though. I think she is starting to spiral out of control and this could get murderous, okay? That's like the only thing I'm, I'm thinking where this could go. But even then, I really don't know. The pacing is slow, but not in a bad way. Normally when the pacing's slow, I'm not too keen, but it really works with this story. I feel very much like we are Alex. We are figuring out as Alex is figuring out and finding things out. Oh, there was that conversation with Pat by the, by the bank when she was depositing that check. Pat, her mother, and even Pat said something about Josie being controlling, right? I think, if I remember correctly. So that's two people that have stated that. So I don't know. I just thought, I just remembered that actually. So maybe there's some truth in that. I really don't know. But that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, I'm going to try and read some more tonight. I don't know if I'll end up finishing this tonight because it's getting late. I'm definitely feeling like my eyes are getting tired. But I am about halfway through. So I'm definitely going to read a little bit more tonight. Um, and I will fill you guys in. And uh, yeah, if we don't finish it today then I'll probably finish it tomorrow and then I'll make a separate video with my like spoiler free review and my final thoughts and stuff like that. So you guys will know about it and what I think if I don't finish it in this video, but yeah, I'm ready to dive right in. So um, let's do that. I need to straighten. Okay, I think it's straight. It's straight enough. So I didn't manage to finish the book tonight. It's like gone 10 p.m. and I am so tired and I've read so much today, more than I've ever read in a day before. So I got up to page 229. So I have passed the halfway mark. I think I'm like three quarters of the way now by the looks of it, about three quarters. My head's like completely cut off. Yeah, I'm still just confused. Although I really just don't know what to believe. I know I said that before, but that's really where I'm sat for the most part. I think, you know, like when something's too good to be true, I'm wondering if it's a such thing for something to be too bad to be true. Obviously, if Walter has done all of this stuff, I didn't know before making this that there was more claims as to Walter's behavior and what he's done and um, in regards to Brooke and in regards to Erin. And Erin and the whole live streaming thing, that was creepy. That was really creepy. Still unsure what the dealio is with Erin, but I'm sure we'll we'll figure that out. But I don't know, like it all seems... Why would multiple people, including Josie's mother, warn Alex about her? I don't know, and then I think Alex is... Uh, well, I don't think. 
the chap the chapter that I just read ended as Alex basically doubting her and even Alex is getting just weird feelings about her like and what Walter told Alex in the sheds in the recording studio about how she you know changes things to fit fit her own narrative and stuff like that so it's just like obviously if this is true then it's terrible like that goes without saying it's absolutely terrible it's shocking and horrifying the 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 stories and the details that are coming out and what Josie is telling us but it's just like is it true so that's where I'm sitting if it's true it's horrible absolutely horrible disgusting horrific all of the above but at this point I still feel like we don't know for a fact if it's true so I'm kind of at that point where I'm taking things with a grain of salt the whole thing Josie's staying over Alex's house because of the fight and everything I think did she you know despise of him does she despise of him? That's what I'm thinking, right? I think that maybe she did something to him and he's now gone round. That's what I'm thinking currently. There's more to the story with Roxy. I feel like everything will come to heads. Everything will come to heads. I feel like the ending of this book is going to be a shocker it's gonna be like BAM but I'm very intrigued I haven't read this many pages in a whole day before reading like 230 pages in a day is a new record for me and I kind of wanted to stop reading it tonight because I feel like the nature of a lot of the stuff in here is quite disturbing so just trigger warning if you haven't read this and you're watching this video and like you're intrigued to read it just a trigger warning, um, there's a lot of really disturbing details in here and stories and stuff like that. So just research the trigger warnings beforehand and just go into it knowing that like, yeah, there's a lot of really dark subjects. But yeah, I'm honestly really enjoying it. But yeah, I just wanted to finish, I wanted to finish it for tonight because not only am I tired, but I also want to try and sleep peacefully tonight, so... I know that this is disturbing me a little bit and I know that it's going to play on my mind so I have to kind of have some brain bleach um, before bed and probably watch some funny YouTube stuff <laughs> um, so I can actually sleep well but it is good it's good it's very very interesting and I am hooked I think I will make a separate video for my review and you know the conclusion and everything once I finish this and I'll just do like its own video there and I'll do a spoiler free review as I said before um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see more of this kind of thing where I just read a book and take you guys along a journey with me and kind of update you in intervals like I have with my thoughts and my feelings and where I think it's going I would really love to do that this has been really fun this has been really fun I feel like I've kind of had a little reading buddy even though it's just been my camera but um it's felt like a little little reading friend there so I love to talk about the books that I'm reading too so this is a very happy fun thing for me to do um, so yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this kind of thing, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, if you want to see the review of this book once I finish it, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate your support. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!